the, the dude was like, hey, give me a motivational Monday. One of the guys, I'm just like, man, I'm like, I'm going to do what I know for Robert Whitaker. I'm like, Robert Whitaker, your next fight with uh, with Israel Asanya, adjust your stats. Don't be, so, don't be so heavy on it. The first time you fought him, that first round was pretty until you, until you decided to exchange with him. When you started to exchange with him is when you got in trouble. I says, learn how to use your leverage, man. Find a good folk style wrestling coach. No one to transition to positions where you're gonna end up in better. You know what I mean? Like, cause there's a lot of times where he was sagging down and it dropped. And I'm just like, you lost the position, you go, 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 go to the front, front headlock him. You still got time to get there. Or be able to snatch your wrist right away. Learn where to distribute your weight. And, uh, you know, it was cool because Robert was able to respond to be like, ah, I think I'll take you up, mate. Now I think I'll take you up. So maybe after this fight, maybe me and Robert could do something. Henry, over here. You decided to bring your your daughter with you onto the stage. She, she was only here a little bit. Yeah, she didn't want to. She didn't want to. She didn't want to leave. She's gonna start crying. So she's pretty well behaved right now. <laughs> so obviously, you're enjoying the time of being a father. How has that kind of changed your mentality, uh, your approach to fighting? Father having something different to fight you. Um, it's I'm not doing this for my family. I'm not doing this for my daughter or my wife. Like this is, you know, they don't even want me fighting. <laughs> my daughter's like, I'm not taking my daughter to the fight. You know, I'm not one of those. I'm not one of those guys. My wife's coming, but you know, she would prefer me to not fight. So this is this is just a personal accomplishment that they're supporting me. At, you know, it's uh, it's it's within me. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna put this on nobody. Else. You decided to bring her here, obviously. You wanted her to be Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, because, dude, I and I love my baby. I miss my baby. Even when I travel, it's just it's a trip. You know, I'm just like I'm constantly on the phone with her. I'd rather have her here. And I got a lot of my training partners that look after her. I like to tell them all the time. There's like there's like ten of them. Like, hey, you got about thirty minutes apiece to play with me. And, you know, I gotta I gotta kind of recover and rest. But as I'm watching, you know, it, it's cool. It's cool because I also know that the incentive to it is. It's just financial freedom for them. But it does seem that there's there's a little bit of a, you are kind of talking about this, there's a, there's a little bit of security in having her around you, maybe a little bit of mental ease. Is, is that how you're in her? Uh, I don't know, I've never thought about it like that. Maybe, convince me. <laughs> what the guy needs to, I think she can. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not good. Like, I'm uh, I'm carefree, guys. Like, I'm, just, I'm here to do my best, that's it. You know, as long as I give my best, and I'll allow it, and I'll, I will always give my best. If you're gonna, be, if you're gonna be me, man, you better kill me. Are you planning to do anything uh, with the family while you guys are in town in the city, going to the city? Or? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna shoot out to, uh, we're gonna shoot out to New York for, uh, I think, for a few days. Just you know, have some, some pizza and all that. Get bad in the head. Yeah. When do you think you might want to fight again? Ah, uh, right away, right away. I want O'Malley like. Make sure he listens to this. I want it right away. But then, I, but then I want to take about at least about a month off, and boom, UFC set it up. You know, let's set it up and let's do it in Boston. You know, let's do it in my back. Let's do it. Let's do it in his backyard. It's that, that want to be American. Let's uh, let's do it in Boston. Thank you. Hey, Andrew. Does a win here solidify your claim as the bantamweight goat? Man, I really don't care about that stuff. Nor do I care about pound for pound. I think that's the stupidest thing ever. You know, at the time that I had two belts, why wasn't I pound for pound? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's the stupidest thing ever, man. With all due respect to all you analysts here. Like, it's a popularity thing. You know, I, I really don't care. I really don't care about that, nor do I care about pound for pound. Because I know that by the time I beat Aljamain on Saturday, I'm gonna be number, I'm gonna be behind the dude that got knocked out. Or behind a dude that they, these two dudes had a close match. Like, it's the stupidest shit ever. Before, I used to kind of chase it. And I'm just like, all right, I just got my two belts. I just defeated Molly Marias. I stopped him. I made a statement. They stayed the same. I was behind Jones, Khabib. Could Khabib go up and beat Kamara Wilson at that time? Could Jones go up at that time and beat, and beat Francis Ngannou? Numbers don't lie, but I, I think I'll, I think they will forever kind of, for you guys, this is a question I got for you guys. I don't know what you guys thinking is on this, but it's a popularity contest. It's like an SP. Same thing with an SP. It's the people's choice of work. You know, how, how stupid and, and how flamboyant can I be to get this award? 
No, I totally get that perspective, and uh, you know, obviously. Yeah. So you guys don't even don't even rape me after this with, with the pound for pound stuff. That's just fucking. It's gonna piss me off, dude. I, I ain't trying to be number four or number two or number. I, I'm one or nothing. And yeah, obviously, you just mentioned you're excited for an eventual Volkanovski matchup. Now, if Yair were to, were to beat Volkanovski, does a main event with you two fighting for the featherweight belt in Mexico interest you? <laughs> Probably not. I don't think the Mexicans like me too much. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do it there, you know, but they'll kill me. <laughs> but he's got to get through the boat first. That, that's not on my mind. Neither is Volk nor Yair. It really is. Uh, my goal is. <clears throat> Uh, the featherweight strap, which I think it's Volkanovski, but uh, he's the current champ now, but I'm not thinking of either one of those featherweights. But I think after these next two fights, I can't be denied. I can't. Thanks, Jeff. We have time for two more. One, two. Hey, Henry, on your, in the back on the left. Um, I really do admire your, uh, your MMA skill set. I think you're one of the most well-rounded mixed martial artists of all time. Um, I'm wondering, do you see a significant skill advantage in a certain area uh, in this fight? Everything. In every sense of the way from standing to the wrestling, uh, to the hair. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I, I just think I'm better than, than Alexander everywhere. I think, yeah. I think he's got grit, I will give him that. I, I know he will fight for this. What do you think of his uh, striking game? It's kind of funky on the feet, throws some weird kicks. What do you think of that? I gotta be careful. I mean, I, I I'm not underestimating Algerman. I just believe in my skill set that much, but it, 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 I'm not impressed. And uh, you've talked about in the past how you need a challenge to really get up for. What makes Aljo that, or is it really just you want the belt back? That's not that I want the belt back. I, I'm really, I mean, I see these, I see him at a tuna fight. You know, I see him and him at a tuna fight. I want that featherweight strap. And then lastly, for me, who has the better YouTube channel, you or Aljo? Oh, look at the numbers, man. It is just like, oh, wow, well, here. Like, man, my stuff is, I'm growing, I'm growing by day. I'm growing thousands by day. So you got to make sure you subscribe to that damn YouTube channel. Thank you, and I am a subscriber. I do enjoy your uh, channel. You're welcome. <laughs> Come over here, Captain. Let me bring up Captain, Captain Eric Alberson. Come here. Come here, Captain. Come. You guys give him a hand. Come on. Come on, guys. Why can we show the why can we show the coaches some love? <laughs> Take him on. Tell me what we're gonna do to Al Jiz Lane on May sixth. May sixth, the return of the goat. You know, I was saying in that countdown uh, about a list, but I didn't say the second part. I'm gonna let you guys. I'll tell it to you guys. When I first met Henry in 2004, he wrote a list at the Olympic Training Center. You walk in his room, you see the list. Number one on that list was Olympic champion. Number two on that list was UFC champion. Number three on that list was world's best father and husband. He completed that list. P.S. There's a new list out. It's a hit list, a black list. And on May 6th, the funk master gets scratched off that list. So all I, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> all right, last question. Go right out of here. Last question. Henry, one last question for you me. back here. You were talking about boxing <laughs> earlier. What boxer or boxers have influenced you the most and why? That's good, man. A, a lot of uh, the boxers that really influenced me were like, you know, back in my heyday, early 2000s. So I grew up watching boxing. You know, Marco Antonio Barrera. Eric Morales, uh, but, but the one that really took it all, man, is, is Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao, to me, he's the greatest of all time. Eight division champ. Uh, it's, it's not the flood man with the undefeated. The guy protected his record. The guy was padded. He had great defense. He's one of the greats, but numbers don't lie. And I, I, I want that Manny Pacquiao. I have ta I've taken that influence from him of becoming, uh, you know, a three division champ in the UFC. And uh, he's, he's a big inspiration uh, for me in, in combat sports. So if there's one guy that I, I can really say, I'm just like, man, he's, he's the greatest of all time, the best of the best, the cream of the crop, it's Manny Pacquiao. Thank you, Henry. That's it, I'm out.